I know this is not a diesel, but the transfer case is having some problems. Um, it's a super common issue, I guess, with Dodges and Jeeps. I couldn't find any good videos on it, so I'm gonna make one for you. The problem we're having is under harder acceleration, it would make like a clanking or like a, like almost like a knocking noise, but you could feel it. Like you could tell in the floorboard, it wasn't like an engine knock, but a drivetrain style knock. So from my understanding, what it is, is the transfer case chain has stretched because this is the all wheel drive. It's the uh, Quadra track trans or, uh, transfer case. Um, and because it's all wheel drive, the chain always has um, stress on it because you can't take it out of four wheel drive. Um, so this only has 100,000 miles on it. Um, but we're going to tear into it and try to figure out what the uh, chain issue is. Uh, never done this before, so I will post some Pop updates. This exhaust bracket off, drive shaft, slide it back, and pull the cover off and get to what we need without dropping the transfer case. Um, hopefully that's the case here and we will uh, get her figured out. So it looks like uh, we've got a 13 millimeter, well, two 13 millimeters, and these are all uh, like the female Torx bits. Um, you might be able to use a 12 point socket. I'm gonna use female Torx. Oh, well, let's see, eight millimeter hex to open the drain. Uh, once you get it draining, you start taking all your bolts out. Um, 13 millimeter, and you've got um, inverted uh, Torx bit, 10 millimeter. Um, a 10 mil 12 point might work, I'm not sure, but I'm going to use a, an, well, here it is, a 10 millimeter inverted the female Torx socket. All right, so take out your drive shaft bolts. Um, it is again a, uh, let's see, an eight millimeter hex. Um, you'll need to get big channel locks and put them up on the, you know, just lock the drive shaft with channel locks and you should be able to get, get the bolts out. All right, so you get your drive shaft bolts out and you have to take your, uh, your uh, damper bolts out. They are 12 millimeter inverted socket or inverted Torx bit. Okay, so getting that out was uh, not necessarily that easy. Uh, get you a big punch and a hammer and just kind of a big, big chisel, hammer, just hit it, rotate it, hit it, and uh, it'll eventually come out. Okay, so I ended up having to take the whole drive shaft loose, which I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Once you get uh, the front undone, taken off, you got the carrier bearing, uh, just two what, 15 millimeter bolts, no biggie. Then the back comes off the same way as the front. Uh, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty actually pretty simple. Uh, you just kind of knock it off with a chisel. It comes off eventually. Um, but here is the uh, damage. So what I'm looking at is a lot of slop in the uh, chain. Okay, well I got her all apart. Uh, it's kind of nasty, but I mean, all the bearings are actually good. I mean, nothing's like bad. Um, I'm gonna clean it up real good though, and I think we'll be in pretty good shape. All right, I've got the new chain. Um, you can actually tell if you hold, you can't tell in the video, if you hold them side by side, the old chain did, I mean, you can tell it's got, it's stretched. So the new chain should make a big difference. Um, I also got the snubber. Uh, I got a new snubber. That's, I, I don't know why they call it that. To me, it would be called like a chain guide, um, but it's called a snubber. So if you Google it, that's what it's called. They're kind of hard to find. Um, just a piece of poly, um, and they just bolt right here. So there's probably nothing wrong with the old one, but I just got it anyways. So we will get this installed and uh, wrap it up. The chain is in. Um, you can tell that there's not much slop in that at all. So that is good to go. Um, you're probably supposed to replace the gears, but there wasn't like excessive wear on the gears. So I didn't feel the need to. So let's, uh, get the back half on this and put it all back together. Okay, I got, uh, I used some assembly grease on the bearings. I don't know if that's necessary or not, but I did. Um, got black RTV as the gasket because that's what's used from the factory. And we will put this thing up. Once the cover's on, you can go ahead and put your bolts back in. Uh, they're just M8 uh, bolts. So I'll look up on the, on the uh, table what we should torque them to. Um, to get your cover on, you may have to wiggle your, uh, just kind of turn the input or output shaft back and forth. It'll go on, not too bad. All, right, all the uh, case half bolts are tight. Next is to install your damper. 
and it actually says this side down so it's uh, pretty self-explanatory um, I would put Loctite on these okay, the rubber damper is back on next would be your exhaust bracket it's just two bolts 13 millimeter heads brackets back on now I'm going to reinstall the drive shaft I'm gonna put some never seize on just that the face there because it was uh, not that easy to get off so if I ever have to take the drive shaft back off I'll, it should be a little bit easier.